Greetings, this is the Forgotten Prime, and today I'm doing a rant and comment about an article I found online. And, uh, uh, I'm, I'm never amazed anymore by the stupidity of people. I'm not political. I could give a rat's ass to who's running for anything anymore because you're all fucking corrupt. You don't give a shit about the people anymore, save maybe one who's trying to do something. I ain't gonna say names because I'm already probably gonna be named for saying that I'm not political. In my opinion, politics is bullshit, boring nonsense. It doesn't necessarily need to be every fucking thing in the fucking world. It don't. It does not need to be the center of the fucking world. Of any kind. That's why I'm bitching about this. Leave the story for what it is being told. Alita Battle Angel was a very, very good film. I give it a 10 out of 10. And that is scary for me as of late. This is a very good film. I highly recommend this film to anybody who wants to see something that's not going to shove politics down your throat. I highly warn you, though, if you have a squeamish stomach, it's got a little blood. If you can't handle it, don't bother watching it. Even the original anime had a bit of blood in it. This was a very good and close homage to the original. I'm anybody of the original fan of the original anime. I highly recommend this film if you have not watched it. If you, like myself, have been very leery of any remakes of films, this one does it justice. I'm telling you, you will enjoy it. I enjoyed it. I loved all the characters, every last one of them. Even the ones I wanted to hate, I liked. That's funny. I'm like, yes, a bad, bad guy. I remember this dude. He's perfect. Oh, my God. I love the detail. I'm like, it was everything about it was perfectly laid out. Sure, there was a lot of changes here and there. There was stretched out a little bit here and there. But they did a great job with what they had to work with. And making it with actual people and its combination of CGI, I love it. But get your mindset of this crap right here. Get it out of your mind right now. We like it because of a good story, good characters. No politics being shoved down our throats of any kind. She is a perfect example of a female hero that we, everybody should look up to. She was humbled. And got back up on her feet and said, I'm not going to take any shit from nobody. I am stronger for who I am for my beliefs. And her beliefs is, everybody should be given the fair shake. And yet you are just screaming that there is no politics in it. I feel sorry for you. And then it, this, fake news, you make that up. It don't exist. You're just pissed that people were actually speaking their minds. The truth that the bloody mainstream media has censored us in such a manner that we can't speak out on it anymore. That is wrong. Take your politics out of my hobbyisms. 
and stay away. If you want politics, put it in a newspaper and let those people who like yourself l read that shit. Keep it out of my hobbies. That's all I ask. I am a simple man with a simple request that's getting loud because it doesn't seem to... When people are being calm with you people, you don't listen. I am going to be me. Now, plain and simple. Keep your politics out of my hobbyisms. I thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and send up a thumbs up. I am attempting to try to publicize myself yet again. Everybody out there, whether I like you, dislike you, or otherwise, have a great day, and please, don't judge me. I am a human being, just like you. We are all equal. Whether they say that we need to put these bloody tags and labels on people that say we're not, we all live, breathe, and die. That's the simple thing. People like you who write stories like this, with great power comes great responsibility, and you're failing that meaning. Good day.